Hello! Today we are going to learn a little more about Brazilian Portuguese. We will talk more about nouns, more specifically augmentative and diminutive, aumentativo e diminutivo. In most cases, the diminutive degree is used to indicate the small size. And, in most cases, the augmentative degree is used to indicate the large size. Let's look at the word peixe, which means fish. Normal size, peixe. Diminutive, peixinho, little fish. Augmentative, peixão, big fish. We have two forms of diminutivo. In the diminutivo sintético, we use a suffix to indicate the size, peixinho. In the diminutivo analítico, we use an adjective to indicate the size, peixe pequeno, both meaning little fish. Same thing for aumentativo. Aumentativo sintético, peixão, big fish. Aumentativo analítico, peixe grande, big fish. Let's see more about the diminutivo sintético. It's mainly formed by the addition of inho, masculine, or inha, feminine. Example, menino mais inho igual a menininho. Menino plus inho equal to menininho. Menina mais inha igual a menininha. More examples. Carro, carrinho. Dente, dentinho. Casa, casinha. Porta, portinha. Sometimes the diminutive is formed by the suffix zinho or zinha. Motor mais zinho. Motor zinho. Lâmpada mais zinha. Lâmpada zinha. There are a lot of diminutive suffixes. We will not see them all in this class. But here is an example. Palácio mais ete palacete. And another example. Burro mais ico burrico. Now let's see the augmentative. The synthetic augmentative is mainly formed by the addition of on, masculine, or on, feminine. Example. Carro mais on, carrão. Zebra mais ona, zebrona. The augmentative also can be formed by different suffixes. Let's see some augmentative examples. Homem, homenzarrão. Barca, barcaça. Voz, vozeirão. Boca, bocarra. Sometimes the augmentative or the diminutive form can be used in a fond way, in an affectionate way. In this case, its use may not have size implication. It's a connotative usage of the words. Example, amigo, amigão. Amigo means friend. Amigão can be used to describe not only a friend of big stature, but a close friend. Another example, amor, amorzinho. The augmentative, and especially the diminutive, can also be used in a derogatory way. See the examples, doutor, doutorzinho. Doutorzinho literally would mean little doctor, but may be used to indicate a not so good doctor. Livro, livreco. 
Livreco literally would mean little book, but may be used to indicate a bad or irrelevant book. Adjectives can also be used with the suffixes that indicate augmentative or diminutive. Example Forte, fortão. Bonita, bonitinha. O homem fortão comprou uma casa bonitinha. We can even see adverbs with these suffixes. This usage is more informal, but is present in everyday life. Example, devagar, devagarzinho, cedo, cedinho. In these cases, the suffix is not indicating difference in size. It is indicating difference in intensity. Another consideration, sometimes the augmentative or diminutive form of a noun can have a different gender than its normal form. Examples A voz, o vozeirão A casa, o casarão It can happen in diminutive too. Example O casebre And yet another consideration. A word can have more than one augmentative or diminutive form. Consider the case of the word livro which means book. The diminutive of livro can be livrinho, livreto, livreco. Another consideration. Sometimes the diminutive or augmentative form of a word can have a meaning of its own. Let's see this case. Porta means door. There is the word portão, formed by the same root of porta plus the suffix ão. However, portão means gate. We could often consider a gate as a big door, but on the other hand, they have their differences. So, when someone wants to say that a door is big, we can see the construction portona using the feminine suffix. And we also can see some people say portãozão, meaning big gate. That is it for today. As you can see, the use of augmentative and diminutive forms has a lot of nuances, and you should be a little careful. However, they are widely used in everyday speech and greatly enrich the language. Thank you for watching.